Hello gardeners. Today, using the example of seedlings of peppers, I will show you. Then I feed young seedlings before transplanting. For her to grow up fast. Now on your screen you see the result of such feeding. Look at the size of the real leaves, they grew to this size in just two days after top dressing. And then in the video you will see what they were like the day before yesterday. But now actually let's prepare the top dressing itself. For the preparation of this remedy we need, a 1 quart jar, we need 2 ounces of crackers. Crackers need to be broken into small pieces, and put them in a jar. And to make it easier to navigate without weights, you need to pour crackers somewhere in the third part of the can. And bread can be used both black and white, you can also combine them, since the resulting product will be nothing more than a yeast-based growth stimulator. Yes, there are a small number of them, because this is already yeast after heat treatment, but we just need to use these for seedlings. She is still young and weak. Pure yeast cannot be fed, as it will be a strong concentration. And the remnants of bread I think everyone has left. You need to dry them and you can use it. Now you need to fill the jar with warm water to the top. Not necessarily boiled, the main thing is not chlorinated. Then we close the jar with a lid, or with cling film and put it in a warm, dark place for infusion. This will take at least a day. Now pay attention to the real leaves again. On the same pepper before I used this growth stimulant. For ease of use, I poured pure growth stimulant into a smaller jar. I didn't dilute it with anything and there are ready-made solutions. Now when should you use it? Please note that the real leaves have already begun to appear. This means that the formation of roots is already beginning, and we must help the seedlings so that the root system of the seedlings is more magnificent. And this growth stimulator will help us with this. But do not confuse the real leaves with these small ones. With large cotyledons. And feeding the seedlings as soon as the cotyledon leaves appeared, but there are no real ones yet, this is pointless. At this age, the seedlings do not yet have a root system, there is nothing to assimilate this stimulant. And this amount of feeding is enough for a large number of seedlings. Since we need the following amount, 1 teaspoon, for each sprout. It is not necessary to feed with such a growth stimulator very often, but only twice before transplanting seedlings into pots. For the first time in this state, when real leaves had just appeared. To give a quick start to seedlings, and the second time we carry out the same top dressing with the same product, two days before transplanting seedlings from trays to cups. So that the seedlings endure the stress of transplanting and continue to grow rapidly. Also friends, if you still have questions about this top dressing, be sure to ask them in the comments, I will be happy to answer everything. Another point such top dressing should be carried out only on moist soil. Which means that you first need to water your seedlings. And only after that use this top dressing. The main thing to remember is that overfeeding seedlings is just as bad as not feeding them at all. And in some cases even much worse. For example, if you use this growth stimulator every day just on your seedlings, and you have insufficient lighting, then your seedlings can stretch out a lot. So stick to the proportions and order as I told you. Then you'll be fine for sure. So friends, go inspect your seedlings. If real leaves have already appeared, then you can feed. And if the information from this video was useful to you, be sure to like it. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel so as not to miss the release of new videos. I wish you a good day. See you in new videos.